Welcome to the Yamaha booth. I am here with the famous Captain Nick Stanzik. Nick, tell us a little bit about what you do. I know you're one of the top sail fishermen, bill fishermen in the whole world. Is that right? According to some people, I say I'm pretty good at catching swordfish. Okay. All right. So what makes the difference? Who taught you how to, how to be so great? Uh, I grew up fishing with my family at Bud Murray's. And a little bit older than I look. I'll be 35 in a couple of weeks. But after college, I wanted to fish for a living. And the last 15 years, I've done that full time. The last four and a half years, I've had a nice outboard boat, go fast in our console, get to and from the fishing grounds a little bit faster, get more fishing time in. And I didn't always have the nice boat. I used to have an old slow commercial boat, so it's been a fun ride. And built up a great business, a lot of charters, take people all over the world fishing, and try to show them a good time on the water. That's good. So you're here in the Yamaha booth. Obviously, you've got Yamahas. Why did you pick those? Why didn't you pick some of our competitors? I had, my dad always had skiffs growing up. He had an old Maverick with a 90 horsepower Yamaha. We had that boat and motor for 20 years. We still have the boat actually. We did some work to it and remodeled it, but Yamaha is always a big name in the Florida Keys. We always saw it. Come to the marina, there's 30 outboard boats there. 90% of them are Yamaha, so good reason. We got a couple of dealers in town. Reliability, longevity, get your money's worth. So Nick fishes all over the world. One of the great things about Yamaha, he's saying he sees them everywhere, and that's one of the reasons he has them. What you don't think about sometimes is what happens when you go somewhere else, you go to the Bahamas, you go to Costa Rica, and you've got a Yamaha, it's easier to get parts. We have such a large dealer network that no matter where you're at, we can take care of you. Without a doubt, 100%. And uh, like you said, anywhere you go, you see them. So. so what's your next tournament? What's coming up? Um, we just did a couple sailfish tournaments. Most of my business is sword fishing, but uh, we did a couple fun tournaments last week. We got second place in one with four sailfish. The second one we didn't do as good in, but still had fun, which, was a, which is what it's about. And uh, I'll go home tomorrow or tonight real late and then start charter fishing again on Monday. And mostly charters. We'll do a dolphin tournament for Mahi in uh, June, but charter fishing is my business. I got people coming in from out of town and taking fish and all they catch them from swordfish. What's your favorite place in the whole world to fish? Probably Alamorada just because we catch everything there. There's a good variety. There's offshore, there's inshore. And I'm obsessed with sword fishing and I think it's one of the best sword fisheries in the whole world. And it's not a long run. How far is the run there? On average, we run 30 to 35 miles. Um, some places you go, they run 100 miles. Off Miami, it's closer. They might, they might run 15 or 18 miles. But we got stable weather most of the year, and we catch fish all year long, so it's a 12-month fishery. But when we're talking a 15 or a 30-mile run, that's nothing. What is your boat? What kind of boat do you fish? I have right a 37-foot Freeman. I just got it last summer, a new one, with quad 300 Yamahas. Those 300s are such good engines for us. They're a popular motor. You see them all over. And uh, my old boat had twin 350s, which was all right. But I got four now. I go faster, run better. I get better fuel. I don't think I'm going slower again. So you've got quite a crowd here. These boys want to know, what can they do now so that they're set up to be like you and beat you in those tournaments when they're a little bit older? Uh, tournaments are fun, but just start fishing at a young age, work hard at it, learn from different people what you can learn, and uh, just any advice you can get, take it and pay attention. You know, all the little details put those together year after year and you get better and better. What's the biggest swordfish you've ever caught? Well, last March we caught a giant one. It was 757 pounds. Before that, I'd caught a big one in Australia. We didn't weigh it. We'd let it go. But uh, that 757 was a big fish. What's the world record? In the 1950s, there was one caught over 1,100 pounds. But that's the only one I've ever caught over 1,000 pounds. In Florida, I don't know of any others ever caught over 700 pounds by a recreational fishermen. So definitely one of the biggest ever caught in the U.S., if now, not the biggest by a recreational fishermen. Now, I could be wrong again because I'm not real sure, but doesn't your daddy hold some records? Yeah, he used to record fish a lot, but we're in the charter boat industry and business. You know, we have more fun taking kids like this out fishing, showing them a good time than taking a guy fishing for records. You know, we enjoy both, but... 30, 40 years ago was a different clientele than we see now. I'd rather take a family out and show them a good time 
make a lasting memory, make a video about it. And a yeah, record fish is great if you're chasing, chasing records, but a fish that that kid catches over there, he might remember that his whole life. So that's just as important. So if these kids want to follow you and learn more, do you, are you on social media? How, sure. how can they stay connected with you? I know some of these guys follow me now. Uh, we do Instagram, we do Facebook, YouTube. Instagram and Facebook, my username is Captain Nick Stanzik. And then on YouTube, we have a family channel called Stans Fam. Stans is short for Stanzik. We got me, my wife, my daughter. You might see us changing oil on the boat. You'll see us catching a lot of fish. You might even see us grilling it at home, what we catch. How so. old is your daughter? She just turned two the day after Christmas. And are you teaching her to fish? She gets seasick, but we're working on that. Um, she loves the boat. She loves being on the water, but usually when it's calm. So she hasn't caught a fish yet, but it's coming up this year. It's coming up really fast. I bet yeah. y'all started when you were really little, didn't you? Oh, uh, these kids love fishing. I could how tell. How old were you when you caught your first fish, you think? Four? Four Good. younger. How about you, Lucas? Same age, kids starting here three, four years old catching fish, you know. And that's where you start. If you love it, you start at that young age, you do it the rest of your life. That's good. So if you boys are smart, you're going to have Yamahas, <laughs> you're going to go to school and learn all you can, and you're going to soak up every bit of knowledge from guys like this, Rick Murphy, anybody who will give you some good advice. And you're going to remember that when you are big, that you always take up time with the kids because they're so important. That's right. Well, if you're interested in chartering or you want to follow Captain Nick, he'd be glad to talk to you afterwards, and you can follow his social media channels. Um, if you've got any questions for our Yamaha staff about any of the products here in the booth, we'd be glad to help you with that as well. Thank you, Nick. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you.